One for the Money is the second episode of the third season of The Golden Girls. This is, of course, directed by Terry Hughes. And as always, there will be spoilers from now as I go through the episode and share some thoughts. And I rather enjoyed it. Flashback episodes in general, I don't care for. But for some reason, for the most part, with The Golden Girls, they're usually really enjoyable. And that's not an experience I'm used to. So I rather appreciate that. And thankfully, One for the Money is not too bad. I feel like... I'll talk about them in detail, of course, but I feel like the first story was pretty good. The second one was okay. The third one, I really thoroughly enjoyed. And I think the third one probably takes up the most time as well, and it's just fabulous. It starts off, and as I said, spoilers from now, it starts off with Sophia trying to sell water, bottled water that she got from a hose in the garden. And they then reminisce about different schemes and businesses they've had at trying to make some money. And the first flashback is to the time when they were the Miami Moms Catering Company. And they're stuffing chicken for an upcoming wedding. And they have this stuffing chicken song. And honestly, it's still in my head. It's very, very addictive. And I really thoroughly enjoyed it. Unfortunately, the wedding doesn't go according to plan. Initially, it looks like it's going to be called off, and then they decide to elope. So Dorothy takes pretty drastic action to try and recoup their losses. It's not a bad flashback. I didn't mind it. I thought it was maybe the second best of the three of them. And I do just like the idea of them all working together in this catering company. It's, it's really sweet, and I really liked it. The second one is a flashback to when Dorothy was a little bit younger. But married to Stan and she goes over to visit Dorothy and she's trying to get a job because she wants to buy money for a television. Meanwhile, Stan is in the kitchen discovering TV dinners and it turns out, and this was so sweet, the flashback itself wasn't that interesting, but this moment I really enjoyed because Sophia is trying to discourage her from getting this job and it turns out that that's actually because Sophia was taking on alterations to earn money to buy Dorothy and Stan a TV set. And Dorothy revealed that she actually wanted the job to get the TV set for Salvador. So that part of it was really sweet. The build-up was a little bit dull, but in general, I certainly didn't mind it. We do cut back to present day briefly, and we have a really great moment where Rose asks who wants the last pizza, the last slice of pizza, and Dorothy and Blanche both want it, so Rose says she's going to cut it in three, and Sophia replies, what am I supposed to do, lick the box? And she points out that she always seems to be left out of things, which is true. I have noticed it. I have noticed that whenever they do things, quite often Sophia is not involved. And I always found that, well, I found it quite strange. But also, if you have a friendship group, how often do you involve your mother in general? So it's kind of strange, but kind of not. And they then go into the next flashback. And this one is about a dance marathon. And there's a thousand dollar prize and Dorothy and Blanche and Rose have all entered, but they've all entered without the other people knowing. And of course, they all want the prize money. And ultimately, well, what ends up happening is that Rose ends up doing this brilliant dance by herself. I also love her costume. I love all of their costumes. And then Rose and Dorothy dance. And it's just, it's beautiful. It's well executed. It's very entertaining. And... I really thoroughly enjoyed it. And this, as I said, I think does take up the bulk of the episode. I feel like it takes up the bulk of the final third, roughly. And the pacing of it was actually really good and very well done. And I really thoroughly enjoyed it. Beautifully choreographed. Blanche and Dorothy's faces when Rose was doing her dance is... Their faces are fabulous, and I rather enjoyed it. So, yet again, The Golden Girls has presented a flashback episode that I have enjoyed. I can't think of a single sitcom. Granted, there there does seem to be quite a high number of flashbacks in The Golden Girls, but since I seem to enjoy them, I can't really complain too much about that. Did I enjoy this? Absolutely. One for the Money is quite a nice, light-hearted episode as well, because the previous episode... Had some, had some comedy in it, absolutely, but it was very heavy, definitely very heavy as well. So it's nice to really lift that mood up again, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. One for the Money is a brilliant episode of The Golden Girls. 
Sure, the middle flashback maybe wasn't as interesting as the others, but I still enjoyed it, and it always just never fails to impress me how much I can enjoy flashback episodes with the Golden Girls. And One for the Money is no exception. Definitely a really solid episode.